Alrighty. We're starting soon. Getting ready. Ah, oh, it's Monday. I actually had work. I didn't think today would end. I was doing literally a massive amount of tickets today. Because that's what I do. You know, I'm one of those, yep, yeah, want me to work for you? Want me to do what you need me to do? Then write a ticket. I'm one of those who receive said tickets and, oh, I have received quite a few today. <laughs> I have to admit, last week I put out over 5,000 of them, so I guess that's what it's worth. So, anyway. Hey, everybody, I am Superback Jr. Welcome to my channel here on Twitch. I'm a retro streamer. Streamer? Wow. Streamer. Yes. Words. And I've been playing video games for just a, you know, just a little while, I guess. And uh, we're going to continue on with uh, probably could be our last day, or at least next last day, of Fantasy Star 4. And. Well, we defeated like five dark forces, and we went up to two uh, towers there on a, on a brand newly discovered planet that only appears every 1,000 years, because you know what? It makes sense in that little universe. So, hey, why not? Ah, I cannot believe we're already in December. This year has, as, as crummy as this year has been for me personally, uh, nothing is you all. I, I am still amazed how fast this year has truly gone. And thank God, <laughs> this has been a horrible year. So, uh, well, with that having mind, have fun. No, um, we'll uh, go ahead and have a seat, get your shoes off, stay a while, and uh, let's go ahead and turn on the TV. That'd be the console that we have here. And uh, hey, Vin, how you doing? That's us there, and that's Chaz at level 54 with a paltry 660,775 meseta. That's the currency that they have there. And I suspect something is coming up there because everything just seemed to froze for just a second. So I'm, I'm waiting with bated breath as to what on earth is coming my way. Okay, I see something has moved. I guess nothing, okay. No frame drops, nope. No slow frames, nope. Hmm, interesting. Alrighty. Uh, you know what? I can unmute the TV too. It'd be cool if like a little hand came out and actually hit the volume button. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. So that's our game. There it is. Deleted some cookies and cleared cash on PC. Now all the websites are acting as new, including Twitch. Wonderful. Well, that's that's what happens. Alright, last time we were here, uh, we left uh, them stranded here on this uh, little aisle. And uh, we might have to go back somewhere else. So anyway, see what are we trying to do here? So getting spammed with tutorials. Oh no. Well, what can I tell you? So what happened in last time? A uh, the voice named Laruth um, tells us of Genesis of Algo and all that kind of stuff, and we have to go to the Esper Mansion. So. Uh, let's see, we have to go to Lux's room. So, let's go ahead and get our Hydrofoil. Hmm. There it is. And we're gonna go ahead and use that. Yeah! Yeah! Okay. There go. Yeah! Can't clear trees. Fine, we'll go this way. Alright. Ah! Yeah, you can go in the battle here, and honestly, going in the battle uh, when you're in your vehicle, nope, not Truckertron, that's the wrong game. Uh, it's not worth it. You get like three bucks and maybe six experience and a pack of Necco Wafers. And if you're old enough to remember Necco Wafers, good for you. And if you're not old enough to remember Necco Wafers, good for you. All right, so uh, we're going to head and run. And I find Lux is going to Oh, well, that's not... Uh, you again? No. Don't like you. You always fly my salad. No, oh, that's the tower. Uh, you know what? Let's stick something that's a little, little bit slower, perhaps. There you go. That's a tad slower. Ah. 
It's funny, the hydrofoil has the least amount of power between the three vehicles. This is Termi. Go to Lutz's room. Remember where the hell we found Lutz. Don't imagine it's here, though. Let's see, let's see what we have as far as items of concern. We have five menus, and uh, each one carries about 10 items, so we have a maximum of 50 things that we can carry at any given time. Okay, so we have Cure Pearls, we have a Cycle Wand, Ice Digger with a Land Rover, a bunch of Dews, Mountain Dew, oh, I'm sorry, Star Dew, Moon Dew, and a whole bunch of Trimates. And there's my Hydrofoil Escape Pipe that allows us to escape whatever building we're in. Pure paralysis, well, that's self explanatory. A soul do. Yeah, okay. Sure. So, we can carry two more things before it's absolutely full. Okay. Go to Lutz's house. Gotta find Lutz's room. Don't suppose it's here. No, it's not here. Okay. Okay. Well, I suppose we're gonna have to actually use the dreaded hy hydrofoil after all. It can clear land and clear. It can clear sea, but it can't clear these two grass hounds. Retreat! Run away! Okay. Oh, it can kill. It can uh, clear the quicksand. Uh, okay, we live there. Nearby there. Oh, you don't look like you're fun. You're red and you look evil. So we'll run. You can keep your neck away from us. Jesus. What's up with you damn flies? Some, some big wind come over. Hmm. <laughs> you know, just for chuckles, because A, there's one of them, and B, I have 680 um, ship power, SP. So let's go ahead and do that, huh? All right. Hey! Flood breath. Okay, wow. Pretty good there, yep. More flood breath. And more snowballs, okay. Look at that, you get a whole 67 experience and one lousy Masetta, and that's the reason why, kids, we do not use this device to attack anything. It is simply not worth it. Having said that. Oh, Leviathan. Mm, no. No Leviathan. Not today. Not tomorrow. I'm thinking. Final Lutz. Oh, we're going here. Monson. Right, get out of my way. There's lots of people. For an inn, this is rather unusually busy. I'm a traveling hunter. Pack, what was a Nako wafer? Nako wafer? <laughs> Close. I vaguely remember a. A tube of them, but never bought them due to the name. Neko is an old candy. Uh, it's pretty much their sugar wafers. They come in a variety of colors, uh, colors and flavors. Uh, mostly, the colors are, you know, like pink and white, even black, brown, whatever like that. Um, the flavors are kind of more like in the chalk category. Uh, there's like chalk, chalk and chalk licorice, chalk root beer or ch chocolate, chalk. Um, but more importantly, they also made those little sweetheart candies uh, that you find on Valentine's Day. Like the U.S. Smarties? And, well, the U.S. Smarties are a bit more harder tablets. Um, NECA wafers are a bit larger than that. Needless to say, they actually um, fell to declining sales and actually went bankrupt. And uh, they couldn't get a buyer, and they disappeared, and... There was one Valentine's year, it wasn't that long ago even, uh, where there were no, uh, none of those uh, candy hearts. Uh, because back then, they made them. They made the vast majority of them. 
I think the only other people who made them uh, were indeed the Smarties people. Uh, like you just mentioned. So, yeah. Live and learn. The Neko Wapers are back. Yay. I mean, I mean, my dad gave them to me with all these sandworms. Okay, we're in wrong. We're in the wrong city. My, my dad gave them to me when I was a kid. You know, and then back in the 70s, we just didn't know any better, I guess. The hard candy. Yeah, the hard candy. You know, when they, like, be mine. The, the ever classic heart candy. You know, that you wind up eating and you wonder why. They kind, of, kind of like the candy corn of, uh, is this the place? No, that's not the place. I kind of like the candy corn, if you will, of Valentine's Day. Uh, they're kind of neat, but you're, you're wondering why you bothered. Now you know. Hello there. I don't think I've seen you two before. Those are Depchen, okay? I'm just rather curious as to what what harm could it be to actually fight these two. We're gonna find out. Well, apparently not much. <laughs> yeah, they're on the low end, okay. Let's say I've not I've not seen you two, or I just don't remember seeing you two. And you're back. Oh wow, even regular hits, as opposed to critical hits. It was about to preload with the fail horn. No, you didn't have to preload the fa fail horn. I I'm, I'm a decent sh gamer. Sort of. A fan bite. And a caterpillar. Okay. I'm finding lots of cells. Neko suck. <laughs> hey, London last. Yeah, well, yeah, they, they kind of do. I, I have to admit, they, they, they really do. They really do suck. <laughs> uh, you know, we're just gonna run through this. All right, uh, let's get let's get on the hydrofoil. Wait, go away, jeez. Let's get the hydrofoil. I mean, when you're a kid, and you don't know. It's like there's some there's some candies you liked when you were a kid. Because maybe you didn't know any better, or you didn't have anything else. That looks so wrong? Yeah, it did, didn't it? Uh, notably, you know, like the Tootsie Rolls. You know, they're neat as a kid. Now, here I am, you know, an adult, and... Hmm. Warm looks like it was doing something dirty. Oh, yes it did. Now, I like Tootsie Pops. Will you stop attacking me? Jeez. I like Tootsie Pops. The Tootsie Rolls? They were supposed to be long-lasting chocolate. And that was kind of like their charm. That was their gimmick. And, uh... Now, let's say I have a Hershey bar, or I have a Tootsie Roll. Hmm. One of my other shoes. I can either chew a chocolate that will take out my fillings if I'm not careful enough, or enjoy my Hershey bar. Hmm. Oh, the decision. Although, I'd rather have a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, to be fair. I was about to say... Oh! I got a sticker! My goodness! It doesn't even show me who did that. Who's responsible for that... Santa? <laughs> Thank you for the sticker, appreciate it. It didn't show me who it was on the screen. We're running, we're running, retreating, whatevering, something. Oh, you did. Thank you, London Last. Appreciate it. Thank you. I haven't had a sticker on stream in a long time. All right, so. Bye, Sandy. I gotta find the rocket ship. Eh. It's not the rocket ship. That's where I got the Land Rover. Yeah, I gotta find the stupid rocket ship. Maybe it's nearby? No, it's not nearby. Although, oh my goodness. I didn't realize it was that big on screen. I can't see anything. <laughs> thank you for the uh, thank you for the 50-bit sticker there. That's uh, that's Macy, by the way. That's a 
love that dog. Oh, I love that dog. Oh, he's so, so cute. He's so cute. Nope, that was uh, Vin. Vin claimed that one. <laughs> I, I, at least I can see the commands. It's blocking my view. <laughs> exactly. Just, just, okay, thank you. Thank you, Macy. I love that doggy. So cute, man. Such a cute doggy. Alright. I'm running it just like a real dog, yes. Gets in the way. Oh my god, you know, it's funny. I get home, and I, I sit in my chair, and she comes up, and she, like, literally gets on top of me. And she weighs a good 85, 90 pounds. And she jumps up and paws on my sternum. And boy, does she put weight on it. Okay. Uh, we're going to do this the hard way. By using up magic. So, uh, these, uh, like, you got Restore with Res, and you got Hina's that allow you to escape, and you got Ryuka. Ryuka allows you to travel from city to city. And now I've got to find the one, which one has the damn... Uh, rocket ship by it. Usually it's short. Okay, that is Dusty. He wants to go for a walk. That's the, uh, that is our Rhodesian Ridgeback, um, Blackmouth Purr. And he didn't have as much white. He has, he has a bit more white in his face now, because he's actually about 12. And he's a good boy. And the Dusty Counter, of course, whenever he inter interrupts stream. Okay, thank you for the, uh, thank you for the sticker there. In the way, I'm gonna have to switch monitors, aren't I? Yes, I will. Okay, that's my boy. Ex exactly, exactly. Near Cattery, Perhaps Dusty's face is more focused um, because when we took Macy's picture, uh, Macy was literally trying to sniff out the camera or the phone, I should say. And uh, that's why her face is just, oh, there it is, I picked the right one. Wow, I picked the right one. First, first try. Okay, let's restore my magic. Yay! Okay. Actually, it's not magic. I gotta remember that. It's technique. Okay, so I have to go. I have to go. Bye! I have to go back to Delos. Yay, we're leveling up. And we're on our happy-go-lucky, zippy-dippy rocket ship with our happy-go-lucky music. 16-bit style, baby. Look at that. Buffy Bip Bop and Stew. Sounds like a 60s sitcom. Or early 70s sitcom. And now I have to use my ice digger. Yay, spaceport. Oh. That's for good measure. And it's no longer snowing, but it's still covered with all kinds of snow. Oh, I see, I see it in this. I see it in chat, and it'll take about seven years for it to appear on screen. And it looks like it actually froze up the screen. That's good. I was, oh yes, I, I was supposed to uh, supposed to get in my ice digger. Thanks for the bits, appreciate it. There, there it is. I was about to say, don't hold your breath and sing it on the screen. Okay, that's how powerful this computer is. It's stream. Oh, thank you, London Last. Appreciate it. You know what? Let's go ahead and fight these two. Last time I fought these two, I got my butt kicked. But that was like 30 levels ago. So let's see what we have here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, one hit. Nope. Two hits. Yeah, okay. Middle range. Okay, let's get my stupid um ice digger. Yeah. State of the art. And you still get still get the battle. Now I actually got destroyed by just one of those. So, oh, F you. Eh. I said we're running. Really? We are running. We're going to die. Hmm. Okay. I don't suppose this is the place. No, Esper Mountain. 
That's Zoso. Thank you. Thank you, London Lass. Your support I've always appreciated. I gotta get you back here in this room so you can start laughing at the crappy things I say. Or play. Because we got some rotten games we have to get through. I thought the, the laser disc specials we did months ago was just absolutely perfect. I stick her stupid. There it is. Okay. Let's go! Yeah! Hey, where is the mansion? I just realized I probably could have used. Yep, I could have, but I didn't. That's the mansion? This might be the mansion. Nope, that's not the mansion. That's the climate center. Where everything was a okay. So let's go ahead and pick this time. Back to me. To Ryuka. The Raja Temple. Hmm. Es Esp Mansion. ESP Mansion. That's where they can read your minds. So that's why when we go in there, we have to have our tinfoil hat. Let's go. Ah, yes. So your friend Kira, please come in. Okay. If you insist. This mansion is also cut off from the outside due to the wall of ice. Which... Why we have icebreakers. Hello. You've been waiting for us this whole time. I understand. Even though it may weaken the black energy, wave will not disappear. Yeah, everyone has a bit of anxiety, it seems. The snowstorm has subsided, but not the wall of ice. It will take time for things to get back to normal. No, no way. Okay, which is Lutz's room? One, one is Lutz's room, maybe? That doesn't look to be Lutz's room. The weather should improve a little with this. Is that Lutz's room? No, that's... At least outside, yes, yeah, there's nothing there. She keeps walking away. Something, something is going to happen. I can tell my chest is throbbing violently. Okay, didn't think it was that kind of... Wow, it did. Guess Lutz's room is in this private chateau. We're barring the inner room again. I've got something to give to Chaz. Sh surely you you're not going to give that youth like uh, give that to a youth like this. Youth? There's no one other than Chaz. You've got to believe me. I understand, Reverend Fifth One. I will say no more. Just shut up. Jazz, the sacred sword Elsidan awaits you. Sacred sword Elsidan? Elsidion? Elsidion! Let's say it all together, kids. Els? E? Dion. Elsidion. It's probably the one and only weapon that has the power to destroy the profound darkness. Go, Chaz, alone. Go meet with Elsidion. What? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. I get to do this by myself? I want my party. Meet Elsa Dian? That's right. And at the time, you should find the answer you're looking for. So, I get to, not only do I get to go alone, but you trap me in here. I can't get out. <laughs> you bastards. Ah! No, 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 no. You can't make me do it. No, 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 no. Fine. Now, if I come back out, can I get out now? No. Bastards. What are you waiting for? Okay. Of course, I put on the creepy dungeon music. At least I got trimates. Oh, Brendan Max 801. Brendan Max 801 for following me. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Okay, there's a. There's a. I was about to say, there's a stairs, but of course, yeah. yeah okay. Appreciate that. Okay, I got phantoms. Hey, I can do them in one shot now. And they didn't do anything because they're phantoms. That's right. And they kind of get all bad at you, yeah. Okay. Hey, I was hitting them at one time. They were like, what, one, two hit points? 3,003 lousy... I can't even buy, can't even buy dinner without. 
That's okay. I think I have enough. Okay. Let's see what else is around here. Before I go down these stairs, nothing. Because, of course, that's the way they design these things here. All kinds of false things. How you doing today there, Brendan Max 801 uh, If you're not familiar with, uh, with the stuff that I stream, I am Super Pack. I am a retro gamer. I've been gaming for at least a couple of years. Oh, that be a sword. And a person holding said sword. And it has a little plaque there. Probably a postcard. Very good. So this is the Sacred Sword Elsidian. What? I heard a voice from somewhere. Ah, you have made it, Chaz Ashley. This is the place where the spirits of those who fought to protect Algo return to. Elsidian is the sword sheltered by those spirits. Now, Chaz, you must take Elsidian in your hands. Yeah. I have the power. Oh, this is something else. I'm sorry. Uh oh. Hey. And if you're not familiar with the uh, other Fantasy Star games, well, you're bu you're about to. Wow. Yep. Part of me kind of made me want to see if they did indeed put this on Sega CD. That was this original format of choice where Sega CD was faltering by this point. What could they have done with it more than what they did with this cartridge? I think remember, this was a $100 cartridge back in the day. But Sega CD, you know, you got 740 megabytes of capacity. Of course, you know, a lot of that would be used up with the, with the CD audio tracks. But could you imagine if this game actually made it to Sega CD? Returning to the game, so you are Chaz, whom Rune selected. You're able to understand. Ah. Chaz, I entrust you to the care of Elsidian. All our thoughts are stored within that sword. We will be with you, Chaz, always, so don't worry, leave it to me. Yeah, famous last words, Chaz. If you <laughs> if you become E Man, you need a uh, you need a tiger? That's right. Where where's your combat card? It's not here. I knew it. I was didn't promise it would give you the power. There was no mistake in my judgment. Yeah, he deserves a sword, but he still puts. Rune! Chaz, let's go save Algo. Right. We're doing, we're doing it for all life in Algo. And to create a future that is truly free of terror. A future unbound, at least from the evil of the past. My god, now I'm getting long-winded. Great. For that, I will fight. Chaz, yeah, shut up. Let's conquer Chaz for Algo. We have an emergency! Demi informs, Demi informs us that disaster has erupted on Motavia. Chaz! All right, let's hurry to Motavia. Now we're just going to linger, actually, because we're staying right there. Okay. And uh, there's nothing interesting here. No, it's just a glowy ball just floating up and down. Yep. Okay. Oh, my, you were actually able to get your hands on that. Trust the Reverend Fifth One to be able to pick the one with the ability. See? See old timer? Huh? Huh, Pops? Huh? Boomer. Alright, so. I can say that with confidence, and I am not a boomer. You'll like one sometimes, though. Alright, so let's uh, go ahead and proceed to exit out of this lovely abode. A stylish tile. And we're outside, and the guards just like that. Okay, so let's see. I want to save. Let's uh, wrong wrong menu. There we go. And we're going to save here on spot number one. Now let's get in our ice digger. There's a disaster brewing on Motivia. We have to go back. We're gonna find the. We're gonna. You sure changed the tune about how how you have to have the magic sword exactly. 
he, he is the old grandpa who sits on the on the porch without Get off my lawn, you snot nose kid. So We're in a hurry. We're in a hurry. Ooh, what are you? The old man yells at the clouds, that's right. Hey Macy. Ooh. Destroyed the other temple. We're in a hurry. We're in a hurry, damn it. We gotta go. I mentioned we're in a hurry. We only have two hours of stream. And we've already used up 32 minutes. We must hurry. Hey, I wanted to dig that ice. Like I said, we don't attack uh, typically while in any of the vehicles here because, quite frankly, it's just simply not worth it. No, we were here. Okay. Let's say. We're, we're like in a hurry and stuff. We can do it. We can. Nope. 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 Let's see, I believe it's uh, near Tyler. Is it near Tyler? I believe so. That'd be the spaceship doohickey thing thing that we uh, came in. Okay. Let's get our tech. Uh, I, I wanted these things. Oh, you took over. Ah, oh, you made it, Chaz. Raja, are you okay now? And Kira, you're here too. The whole gang's here. A minor sickness like that couldn't keep me out of bed. Keep me in bed? Take me with you. There's reassurance in numbers. Since I'm so reliable, I will accompany you. Raja and Kira, thank you. Okay, can I, can I, no, no, I can't, I can't restore my life. Okay, ooh, that doesn't look good. Second planet, Motabia. Looks like it's seen better days. Okay, everyone's there, wow. Han, Grizz, and Demi too. And the Scarecrow, and the Lion. Uh -oh. Hey, Chaz. You seem to have become stronger since we last met. I was scolded by Panna, but I came anyway. The system is finally stabilized. Now I can go with you. Everybody, everybody, thank you so much. Demi, what is this disaster you've reported? Well, a large hole suddenly opened north of Piata. Thank you. Thank you, Gabby. Yes, Gabby. Yep. Oh, you know what? You're you're one of the voices. That's right. You're reading you're reading this uh, the dialogue. Go ahead, Gabby. Okay, that, that Shih Tzu translation board. The life forms around that hole are dying one after the other. But there's no gas or radiation emissions coming from the hole. There's no need to verify it. I gotta get my mind out of it. I really do. We, we knew as soon as we arrived in Motavia. It's all due to the black energy wave and a pretty strong one at that. It's the profound darkness. You finally opened the door from the other dimension. Chaz, let's go! Isn't this the last battle? The last battle. Battle, battle, battle. Battle, battle, battle. Really? You guys need taken care of. I'll be your big sister and look after you. Well, seeing that we're all here, I'd like all of you to go, but there are only five rings of stars to protect us from the power of darkness. Yeah, and I have a leftover ring. I have no idea. So that means we have to choose one person to take. Okay, so. Hmm. Hmm. Who to choose? Who would you take? Hmm. Let's see. I am thinking, who would I take? Oh, they're looking at me as, as I walk around them, of course. I always love the little itty-bitty details. Little itty-bitty details. Hmm. Raja is useless.
My buddies at Mies were kind enough to tell me not to worry about the future. They told us to go. After all, Chaz and everyone will be benefactors of Zealous. Oh, Chaz, take me along. Wouldn't I be some help to you? Are you going to take Kira? Uh, what's Kira take? Uh, no. I see. I'll be waiting, Chaz. Be sure to come back. This might require some research. What about you? Panna says it's pitiful that you come back for her sake. That's what she says, and she says you don't have to put up with things for her sake. That's just something. She's alright. Chaz, let me make amends. Let's go together. Are you going to take Grizz? No, that's too bad. I'm counting on you for my part, too. Okay, so... We're gonna ignore the old man. Not you. Chaz, to tell you the truth, since that, since that time I've been secretly trading... Sure you haven't. So I'd be able, so I'd be able to help you more... Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Please, take me with you! And... No. Yeah, I, I, I haven't picked yet, guys. Okay. Okay, I, you can't have the person in charge of Motavia not to go. Yeah, I think we're gonna take Demi. So the answer to that is yes. I'm ready. I'm up to it, Master. You just watch me. Okay, so. And the good news is, if we change our mind, we can always go back. Because we haven't asked Roger yet. So, Tar Motavia has been along my dream, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. And the answer is no. We already have our five people. I see. Well, I'm waiting for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Okay. Now I get to restore up. Okay. Now I can always come back here and switch out one of the other players. For example, just go right back up there. And instead of, like, you know, seeing the sights like any sane person would, now they're just going to stand there waiting for me. Right now they're all 54. <laughs> okay, so a great hole. Let's get in our uh, hydro foil. Let's go. We we've already been to that hole. A great hole. So. That's a cave. <laughs> Let's see. I have run into yet another battle, of course. Great. Alright, try it again. We can do this. That's not it. That's not it. Well, that's a hole. That's more of a lake. Mm-hmm. 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 Well, let's see here. Let's uh, do a little bit of thinking here. All that, uh, all that warm is bobbing up and down. Okay. Telling me to fly back to Rylos? Rykos? Ah, okay. Gotta go to the Corridge Tower. What was I thinking? Alright, so let's go ahead and run. Yeah, I'm using a guide. This, I, this game has no map. And I don't have the instructions to it because I'm actually playing the PlayStation 2 version. Thing. But. Really. There were strategy guides. I don't need they were. Well, let's see, one of the major publishers was Prima, if I'm not mistaken. They were always good. I miss those days! Okay, we're going to attack. Uh, we're going to go to Chaz. He's going to hit Ryuka. And... I think it was... Aiden? Nope, wrong one. 
You know, I just did it too. There, there it is. Okay, so there's our spaceship. Restore. Get to go to the Courage Tower. You guys stay there. We got a few minutes. Yeah. Oh, well, I just saw I just saw the big hole, so uh, that's good. Just due north from where the spaceship is. By a bit. Okay. This is where we land. I'm still trying to figure out where the ship goes when we leave. This will restore us. Yeah. See, as we walk out, where the hell's our spaceship? It just, like, goes away somewhere. Uh, we're going to pick something that's a little less fast. Oh, we have to go around. Okay. I remember now. I remember now. Yeah. Really? 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 You son of a bitch. Bro! Run! Thank you. What's wrong with y'all? Oh, the three potatoes. We're running away! Ha! Showed you. We almost made it to the Courage Tower. If we... Run! Yes! Okay, we almost made it here. We have to do it this way. Also done a shining. Oh! A voice is rever rever yeah, reverberating in my head. Oh, protectors of Algo, the Anger Tower welcomes you gladly. That's good. Ooh, the treasure chests. And they're bad guys. And what the hell. I got a Haken left and a bladder right. Or more like a blader right, because it's not double D. Even if it were double D, it met the character limit. So it's blader right and Haken left. Now, I should, I should do this. Do it the hard way because then I can all concentrate on this doofus here. And then we just let me just go sit. Do that. And do that. Yeah, okay, there you go. No more Voltron on this one. No. I seem to be a bit more powerful than I last was. Acid breath. Ouch. So I got a pair of androids with me. And three. Humans. I think uh, I mentioned this in the Wild Arms on one of the other Fantasy Star streams last time. I got a guide that was for Final Fantasy 13 2 my while well, my sister I read it to her. Okay. That's good. 13 2. Okay. For some reason I was thinking 10 2. I'm like, did that really even need a strategy guide? Did it really even have a plot? That was 10 years ago. Uh, was it? I guess it was, wasn't it? Huh. I, was, I was just thinking, uh, my brother texted me uh, this weekend. And he likes to do this because he, he he and I are both, you know, we, we're both up there in years now. He's, he's only five years younger than I. And he uh, texted me this little nugget. Really? Oh, wow. Illusionist. Okay. Well, we're just going to go whatever. 10 too, had lots of puzzles and hidden stuff. Oh, it was puzzling, all right. <clears throat> Excuse me, it was puzzling, all right. I have other choice words for it too, but that's all right. And if you do like uh, Final Fantasy 10 too, my apologies. Uh, it's okay. Um, oh, he he texted me that Zelda 2, this would be um, Zelda 2, Link's Adventure, turned 35 years old. And my wife, London Lass, is like, great, now I feel old. Yeah. So do I. 
Can't believe that. <clears throat> a lot of people didn't like Zelda 2 when it came out. I thought it was perfectly fine. Okay, I got a soul do. Now I'm, I think I'm out of, out of spots. And I'm an idiot, by the way. I have a, I have a sword that I have yet to equip. I just realized that. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Yeah, yeah. Been streaming for 47 years. I think I've never read streaming. Please, gaming for 47 years. I think I've figured out some of this shit by now. Alright, uh, let's see. Equip. Let's equip Chaz. The stupid. No. He has to. Oh, okay, it automatically equips. Thank God. Okay. Let's see. I'm going all the way. I'm, I'm going away with this big old massive sword. And I can't equip it because I'm stupid. Good job. Yay! Okay, die already. Jeez. Okay, I got a Stardew. Let's see. Can't get rid of the things in red. I want to get a re uh, rid of a repair kit. I do want to keep all my trimates. I really, really don't need an escape pipe right now. Escape pipe. Telepipe. They have all these do's, that's the thing. Uh, well, let's get rid of the telepipe. Yeah. So, we put a star dune in its place. Excellent. And up the stairs we go. Dead end, of course. Oh, lovely. And they go first. No, nope, I go. There you go. And you've already made your turn, so that's that. Our turn, and that's that. Cool. Another try. Oh, a trimate? Yeah, I'll take a trimate. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. Where'd that stupid thing go? Escape pipe. Don't need the escape pipe. Like I said, dead end. Perfect. It's like we never left. Also picked Demi because she was pretty up there in HP. Japanese developers love to remind us of every five to ten years milestones. Yeah, milestones. Yeah, of course. Well, 35 years is huge. I, I'm, I mean, I'm not going to uh, discard one of my items. Guard mail. Okay, well, I, I have a helmet I don't need. I don't need a swift helmet. I really don't need the money for it either, so let's go ahead and get rid of that. Great. Now let's see who can wear the wear this stupid thing. Equip. Uh, yeah, goes with him. Okay. And let's see, his defensive power goes up quite a bit. He doesn't have anything going down like agility or mental power, so that's great. Let's go ahead and put that on. Excellent. I feel better already. Okay, so we went up that stair. Let's go back. Let's go fight. Okay. Hmm. Yep, we're gonna do it the hard way again. Ignoring the over overhate, Koei had a big 20 years for Dynasty Warriors 9. Reminder, it had a fighting game in 98 before the hack and slash. Uh, yeah, that's true. Uh, the original Dynasty Warriors was actually a fighting game for the PlayStation 1. And it was okay. You gotta remember, this was a saturated market of fighting games. And so, Inami with, uh, with their, um, not, excuse me, Koai with their, um, with their, I don't know what you want to call it, because that's such a transition uh, from one style to the other. But they made it work, and they've actually incorporated, like, Gundam had a, had a style of that too. So, yeah, why not? Why not? I remember the first. I remember the first uh, Dynasty Warriors, and, and like I said, it was okay. We gotta remember there was, you know, Tekken and Soul Edge, 
uh, for PlayStation out there. There was Bloody Roar. There was, uh, I remember that one too. That was a lot of fun. Uh, let's see. There was Battle Arena Toshinden. And of course, the Mortal Kombat series. So, yeah, you, you, it was just yet another fighting game. And of course, they dreaded Urguys and the even more dreaded Star Wars uh, fighting game that they made. For some stupid reason. And they had a equally lousy Dragon Ball uh, fighting game at one point, too. Now, that sucker is actually worth money. Because they didn't print that many. And it was in high demand despite the fact it sucked harder than a Hoover. Alright. Zelda has about six, maybe more titles out by the anniversary dates. Well, the fact that they still make Zelda stuff. I have a friend of mine who's uh, streaming. She's a brilliant streamer, too. too. And uh, her favorite game is, Maj is uh, Majora's Mask, yeah. And I'm watching her play uh, the game, and holy cow. It's good at it. That's one of the few Zeldas I did not beat. Uh, I'm not a big fan of, of um, time limits. Especially in a game like that. Of course, you do manipulate time to your liking and all that kind of stuff, too. I get that, but... Um... Okay, now we're gonna go up here. Okay. There's more stairs. Hey, I was singing. Ray Breath! Bad! My gun! Good! Okay. Surprised everyone's not getting beat up. Okay, I see there is a choice of stairs. And I got three Dark Witches. Fantastic. It is never really a good thing. I have two Dark Witches. Which is never really a good thing. I have one Dark Witch. Ouch! That's really not good. I gotta watch after her. So, let's go ahead and continue. Hey! Oh, two. Okay, let's see. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. Chaz can use... Let's use a key res on Rika. She kind of needs it. And I can use a Riz on him. He kind of needs it. And the androids are self-restoring. Oh, I should have went up the other stairs first. <laughs> Oopsie, I didn't want to advance the plot just quite yet. Alright. Hmm. Hey, no, de no defensive stuff, stuff. There you go. Mortal Kombat 1 that came out this year was pushed to be with the 30th anniversary. That's right, Mortal Kombat 2, according to Ed Boom. Uh, that would be about right, yeah, because Mortal Kombat came out in, what, 92? In the arcades? 93 for the home units. That came out September 13th, 1993. And that started a bit of a console war between the Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis. Which version did you have? I actually did something on that. Well, that was the stair. Oh. I did all that for nothing. Fantastic. Okay. Well, I hate mazes. But I'll play Pac-Man. Pac-Man's not really a maze anyway. Oh, Stardew. Okay. You know what? We have so many of them that I can actually say, you know what? We're going to discard the Stardew. Yep. Yep. Besides, it was it was acquired in battle. So it's not like it's a treasure chest item or anything. Which is fine. That's good. One down. There it is. One down. And that's going to be two down. Deep boy. Ouch. A whole one. Excellent. Keep doing that. That's not good. Okay. I must use these stairs. Okay. And we just saw that. So this is what we do. Since we're not using a Genesis, 
Although I could, but I've been working so hard now with this game uh, for the with the PlayStation 2 because I got this before I got my Genesis hooked up uh, to the computer here. So there's an actual Genesis with a Sega CD. It's the JVC XI uh, that's attached uh, now. We can actually play uh, some uh, neat stuff with that because there are a lot of games that came out for Sega CD that were actually quite better than decent that nobody got to play because nobody bought the damn thing. And we're going to look at that uh, one particular game this coming up Saturday as a programming note. Uh, we're going to play Sen uh, Genesis was Forbidden. No, not that Genesis, Ben. Genesis? Yes, Genesis. How can you be deaf with ears like that? Oh, um, we're going to be playing so uh, Sonic CD, Sega CD, uh, on Saturday. That'll be our Saturday stream. It's a lot of fun because a lot of people really haven't seen that unless they've gone onto YouTube and look at some of the long play videos or whatever. But uh, this idiot here will be playing it uh, on Saturday. So, yay. And like I said, replacing this game will be Beyond Oasis. And replacing Wild Arms will be uh, Lunar and Silver Star for Sega CD as well. Because now I have the games out and I have the system. Well, let's go ahead and show off with this thing that a lot of people did not know. They knew it existed, they just didn't know what it was. It was a little heavy start. Okay, what we're going to do here is we're going to save. And this is our main save here at the top. So we're going to use a secondary save right here. And yep, and hopefully it, hopefully my memory card won't crash like it did that one time. Okay, we'll save sec successfully. Good. And we do this because this in case we do something incredibly stupid, which we probably will. Matter of fact, let's take it one step further. Let's go ahead and it's just me. Oh, I'm, I'm already full. Okay, it's just me. That's right. I sh should have noticed that. This I don't see four other people behind me. You cannot tell me that Sega named it for that Star Trek Nemesis. Genesis? I'm not sure because overseas and other markets it was called the Mega Drive. Now the Genesis, I think, was called that here because it was the Genesis or the beginning of the 16-bit era. Uh, for the home unit. It was actually a scaled-down System 16 board that Sega frequently used for their arcade games like um, like OutRun and Space Harrier, Afterburner, and so forth. So, um, But it was a wickedly fast machine. It just didn't have the massive color palette or the superior sound of that of the Super Nintendo which would come about two years later after the launch of Genesis. So that time Genesis actually had a bit of a momentum building um, and then, of course, Super Nintendo came out and they put in their Super Mario games, if you will. The, what was that? The, not the All Stars, the other one. Super Mario World with the, with the Super Nintendo. And one thing Sega didn't have was a fire, uh, foolproof mascot. So along came Sonic Team. That was a newly developed R&D. And um, hey, Sonic the Hedgehog and everything else is history. So there you go. Uh, the game that I got with my Genesis was Altered Beast. And that's a fine game. It's a great arcade game, and it actually made up for the very horrible, lousy, crappy port that made it to the Sega Master System. Okay. I get to fight her by myself. Anything else in the room? Nope. I was wondering, what the hell are you doing? Here we go. The Mega Drive sounds so much better. What the F? <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, that, that happens. Like the Nintendo Famicom, uh, which was uh, out a couple of years before we got our Nintendo Entertainment System. But if you have a, if you take a uh, look at two of them side by side, they're completely different. Top loading Famicom, it looked like a video game console. Nintendo Entertainment System did not look like a video game console because video games were not popular anymore. Uh, it was a bad, it left a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths. So uh, they made it look like a VCR. You open up the door, slide in the cartridge, push it down, and a lot of the uh, early front-loading or top-loading VCRs behave that way. Let's go ahead and get fighting, shall we? What? Alice? You're here in Rycross? Alice? Alice! Hey, answer me, Alice. Killer. Yikes, Alice! Hey. Well, Alice, you look a lot better because we always see you from behind. Hmm. Well, music's already spooky enough. Okay, well. Let's do this. We're going to uh, 
We're gonna treat this like a boss, because, well, it, it is a boss. And, uh, we're gonna do that. Yep, yeah, okay. Ouch. Uh, oh, okay. Well, uh, yeah, we'll just do that again. Ouch, I like the first one better. Oh, okay. That was a boss. Okay. And I got a whole experience and a whole buck. Great. Alice. Alice. <laughs> Who's that? Ooh. Ooh. Well, well, Protector. What a weakling you are. So you wail and lament for something you know to be an illusion. Illusion? Is that right? You? You? Ah, your anger, your hatred. It's quite a show of your force of character. Would you like to be able to wholly transform those feelings into strength? Huh? There's a technique to transform emotions of anger and hatred into powers of destruction. You want to know about it? Hmm, this seems like a trick question. So, let's see. This seems like a tr Yeah, I'm the Sith Lord. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I actually do remember this part of the game. Uh, I, like I said, I've played this game once. In the almost 30 years it's been out. And quite frankly, I know the answer is no. Because this thing... we, uh, we I did choose yes the first time I played this. And it bitch slapped me to death in literally two hits. So, uh, the answer is no. Don't mess with me! Huh? Why is that? Even if I won using such power, it would be meaningless. Hey, Lefty! Good evening. Hey, a thank challenge. you! This is going to be fun. Absolutely. Welcome aboard there, Lefty and uh, Raiders. How are you all doing tonight? I'm Superback Jr., Retro Gamer. Playing a little bit of Fantasy Star 4. Uh, this guy is taunting us. We don't like him. He wants us to use our anger and force and all that. And he's going to give us a power and all that. But he's going to kill us. So I, didn't, I said no. I don't want his lousy offerings. Hey, it's you and Stick. Hey. <laughs> hey, Lefty and Stick. How are you doing today? Ah, uh, Sith Lord. Indeed. Yep. So, so uh, Lefty and <laughs> Stick... Uh, what we're doing here is that we're we're turning down this awfully tempting offer. Me and me, we're the only ones watching. I I apologize. I I would have stopped streaming just for you, Lefty, if I knew that. I'm really sorry, dude. <laughs> I do look out. I do look. Uh, I do watch your um your uh, videos on YouTube. So, and if you haven't seen his videos on YouTube, go find them. Still the same. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Failhorn. Lefty. Uh, check him out on YouTube. He puts out a pretty good stuff there, I tell you. The stick drawings and the beat sabers. Uh, it's a tentacle blob or cloud thing. Not much to trust. No, it's not. It's Well, I'm not even sure what the hell that thing is, actually. But anyway, uh, it would, uh, continuing on with the uh, dialogue here with this very compelling music, would only make us the same as the darkness. I see. You fought the illusion, and yet you haven't lost side of yourself. All right. I shall trust you with the technique. The forbidden technique. Me good. I enjoy streaming whenever there's anyone watching or not. Me too. Me too. Um, I don't get a lot of viewers. I have to know. I do get a lot of post views. Uh, well, some post views. A few post views. I have to admit, uh, having... I wish I had done this sooner. To be honest with you. I have a lot of fun doing this, and like I said, this is a, for me, this is kind of a stress relief. Oh, thank you for the resub. I appreciate it. Ten... Has it been ten months? My god. And I've only been streaming for what? I've been streaming for a, literally about a year now, and I became an affiliate back in February. So yeah, I guess it has been. How about that? Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. So close to a year. That's right. No, I was actually going through my menus and the, the um, dashboard, and yeah, it tells me my uh, affiliate anniversary is in February. I'm like, God, is it really? 
So yeah, and the one they do a special affiliate stream, I could do that. So Lefty, I don't know if you hoid. Want to do anything special for you? I don't know. I have such a random subject matter. <laughs> I did get, I don't know if you saw this in any of my previous streams uh, on the post rods. My Sega CD and Genesis com combination machines called the JVCXI is actually right here in this room. I've used it a few times. And uh, I'm going to be uh, putting up one of the Lunar games uh, to replace um, Wild Arms, my Thursday night stream. Whenever I defeat that. That's something to look forward to. Just do not sing. <laughs> 21st of January marked the one year following you, Pac. Oh, yes. Just do not sing. No, I, no singing. No, um, they usually bring me into uh, dairy farms for me to sing. That's how they make cottage cheese. So, there you go. The Forbidden Technique, Miged. Oh, and Saturday, Saturday I'm doing a Sonic CD. Or Sega CD. Okay. Miged, the Forbidden Technique. There's nothing to be afraid of. It's necessary to feel anger and hatred for, human, for humans to be human. Oh. There shouldn't be any danger that you will be corrupted by the power of Miged. Just don't forget your true self. Oh, there you go. And he leaves me here all alone. All right. I have the technique of Megid. Megid! And now my party's rejoined me. Ah, yes. Of course. All right, so this is what we do. Because these two will form into Voltron if you leave both halves there. So we're going to go for the Haken left, because there's only one of them. But he has no weapon. No, no, no. Try to ask funny. I should take care of him. Alright. I should take care of him. Just you! And now I can just do whatever I want. Okay. Ta da! Strategy! And speaking of strategy, we will go ahead and get the hell out of here. Behemoth! Yay. Okay. I need my Land Rover. Yeah. Well, I use the Hydrofoil. There's no water. And I discovered I cannot steer the Hydrofoil with any sense of accuracy. Okay. Uh, uh, actually, no, we're just going to run. Anyway. So I don't know if I'm going to do anything special, uh, per se, uh, with the uh, anniversary of my affiliation, affiliate, affiliate thing. I might. I don't see why not. It's just that because I've done so many strange and oddball showings of uh, different games and uh, theme-related, you know, things, you know, per month and all that kind of stuff, like the Laserdisc month that we did a while back. Uh, I could revisit some old favorites. I mean, can I go through the door? Oh, that's that. Okay, now we have to go back to Motivia. And we're going to use this happy, skippy, fun moment. <laughs> Motivia, oh, you look so beaten. And once again, where the hell does that ship go? Okay, we're back in Spaceport. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take a small break. We're going to take a small break. Hello. So you're not doing anything. That's great. So we're going to take a small take a small break. Okay, wrong break, but that's fine. Uh, let's see. I'm going to hit pause. Hang on, what did uh, Vin just say <laughs> about not singing? Hey, that's not singing. Uh, I don't declare that as singing. The JVC came with a karaoke machine. It is a karaoke machine. I don't want to do that. I might as well just put it on this ring. Uh, yeah, the JVC XI actually had a karaoke built-in feature. Why? Because it was the 90s. And we did stuff like that in the 90s, so, eh. 
They played all the Sega games and karaoke. Yes, it did. It could play Sega Genesis games and Sega CD games. It did not, however, take the Master System adapter. That you had to get a regular old Genesis for. With that in mind, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and put on the screen that says Powers. Powers. And then uh, we're going to... Can't run some ads. Why not? It's not letting me. Or run your silly ads. I'll show you. Somewhere in Japan, the kids are asking their parents why they needed karaoke in, in their console. I'm not sure the XI actually made it to Japan. The Sega CD, of course, did. Uh, Mega Drive CD is what it's called, but uh, that was the regular old Sega CD, and it didn't have that feature. We'll be right back. Stand by. Oops, wrong button. <laughs> Did you know, hey, Lefty, if you're on Facebook, you know that thing, it's a book with your face? Did you know that there's a Facebook page called Retro Games Fan? We talk about all the retro games from way back when to the end of the 20th century and anything in between. Lots of people go to like garage sales and flea markets and whatever like that, and they, see, they take pictures of what they were able to source, what they were able to get. And uh, it's fun seeing a lot of the old Atari games and Nintendo games come back up and haunt us. And that's the page where you can go see that. Um, I've also posted a bunch of things myself, my inventory photos, similar to that um, on my Instagram page. But uh, yeah, check it out if you're on Facebook. You have to uh, sign up for it, by the way, in order to post. Just be rules to follow. Just don't talk about anything 21st century. Everything 20th century is good. Retro Games fan on Facebook. Alrighty, so let's, having said that, Let's go back to the dreaded console. And if I can find the damn thing, there it is. Okay. We're back here in our little thing with our reunion party. Oh boy. Well, we already got who we want to be on our team. Some in, somewhere in Japan, there are kids asking about... Okay, well, I already read that. Good job, Pac. Okay. Last resort. And now we got to find a big old hole in the earth. Thank you. Thank you, Ben. Yes, that was a fail. Yes, I, thank you. I got that. Oh, I got it. Loud and clear, Ben. That's not the hole. Now, when I came up on the rocket ship... Really? There's a bunch of... Oh, Lord. We got to turn it back down. Damn! <laughs> I like the echo at the end. That was pretty cool. Okay. I was not expecting that. Okay, I ran into a bunch of trees. Thanks! Couldn't see where I was driving. Dance time, yeah. There was a hole up here. That's not the hole. Right here. Really? Just leave me alone. I don't want to talk to you. Okay, where is the damn hole? It's like a big hole. That's not the hole. It's like a hole in the middle of a desert thing. Like, that's not... Okay.
Hmm. Okay, so... I have to, I know it's near Melee. I just gotta find where friggin' Melee is. Okay, so... Uh, well, might as well do this. Ryuka... Melee. Okay. There's... Oh, well, there you are. Let's go ahead and stay in town, then. Eh... Uh, eh... Uh, hello? The ranch owner is... And he had such great hopes. Um. Yeah, the hotel is closed. This is atrocious. They must have been done by the black energy wave. Okay. Lots of dead people. And conveniently in front of the entrance where I can't go into the item shop and steal everything. Okay, everything is atrocious. And everything has been done in by the black energy wave. Doors are closed. Yep, see, you can't shove them out of the way either. Can't go inside. Oh, even the one with the broom. Not the one with the broom! No! Damn it. Yeah, I'm unhappy now. I'm pissed. There's the hole. I guess we just fall in. Matter of fact, we're going to do this, too. Just in case. Everyone saw dead people, no one says anything. Oh, well, you know, they say it's atrocious, and it was done. they were done in by the Black Wave. That's all I had to say. I'm glad I'm not the only one who does this, by the way. <laughs> so, somebody else do this. Makes me feel better about myself. Oh, there you go. Well. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, it tells me where to go. How convenient. And what are we fighting here? We're fighting an, an image. An, an, an imagi mode, mad, mad, whatever the hell that thing is. Jesus. Okay, so. 404. Wow. Okay. Right, he's a cheap bastard. Oh, lordy. Okay. I guess I went the wrong way. Yeah, I got a Mr. Potato Head and that thing again, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Take care of him. Uh, not happy. I liked it better when you were more of a sweet potato. Everyone saw dead people, yes. Hey, my turn. Gotta watch out for Rico. Oh, right there. So let's uh, tech up here. We've got Chaz here. Chaz is going to be using his healing powers while in party. And let's see, who needs it the most? That would be, of course, uh, Rika, because she's sort of like a um, punch magnet from time to time. It sucks. Androids will automatically heal outside battle. So it's, largely, it's just Rune, uh, Rika, and myself. So. Give him a regular old res, Rooney. Okay. And let's go and get, give Chaz his res. Okay, it's not bad. Going down inside. Oh, you. I don't like you. I didn't like you in the Return of the Jedi either. You had smaller arms then. Okay, so. Oh, wow. Okay. One hit. I'm liking that weapon already. Barely, I can barely see where we're walking. 
and a Dark Rider. Okay. I'm not upset. Yeah, I'm kind of upset, though. There's a rather formidable sky up there. Huh. I guess it ain't that formidable. Okay. Works for me. Dead end. Fantastic. More battle. You. Oh. I see there's more than you. Ouch. Let's take care of him. And that leaves old Pickaboo over there. There you go. Yeah. I don't like you. I forgot all, I forgot all about that shit. <laughs> had to go this way. Had to, had to take the, the alternate route. Oh, Lord. Okay. Fortunately, the potatoes are the normal ones. I don't like them. Behave yourselves. No cursing. Okay, we're back to this. Three, let's see, 174. Chaz is okay. He can take a little bit more pounding there, but uh, Rika, not so much. So let's go ahead and tech up. Just using Chad one more time. That 174, that's a 160 ish difference. So that is good enough for a Giraz. And yep, just under. What I thought. Okay. Hmm. Let's go, go this way. You again. I say that may have been a bad move. Okay. And rune went up. All right. Cool. I'm pretty sure there's a way out of here. Just haven't figured it out yet. Oh, two of you! Okay. Well, one of you. Okay. Good, good hit. Keep doing, keep it up. Hmm. Interesting. Right. Well, that should take care of it. Okay. And Ren went up. Demi went up. Everyone's going up. Except Chaz. Because he's a loser. Is this going around in circles? We'll go around in circles. Yes, it can go around in circles. Okay. That is the path. A pair of these now. Okay. Oh! Bastard, both of you. Okay. So this was a trap. Fantastic. This one, that's what I like about that. I'm gonna switch to the other monitor. I can barely see the path here. It all comes to an end. one of you. That's good. Yeah, see? How about them apples? Okay. Really? How about you? Okay. That wasn't too bad. Okay. But I went the wrong way. Ooh, I get to go first. Like it matters. Yeah. <laughs> Should have gone. Oh, goody. There's yet another path. Oh, well. Seems to be angrier. I'm not a big fan of. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of the, the uh, decor here. Three of you. Oh, 
Gotta watch out for Rika. Hey, you made your turn. Okay. Right, there you go. Before I do that, I want to see if there's anything I can equip to Rika to help her with her. And the answer to that is no. She already has it. I can get rid of that, but it's kind of pointless now considering where we are in the game. It doesn't matter. But essentially, I can actually just drop this. So let's go ahead and tech up. Let's see, I'm down a whole hundred-ish. Rika is down a lot more though. And runes down a bit, so let's see. I'm gonna leave uh, Rika has the SAR magic. What's that do? It's not magic sickening. Uh, that heals the entire party. I could use one here, but it's much more useful in battle. Particularly with a boss. So I'm just gonna let Chaz continue to use up some of his magic. So let's go ahead and res him. And bring him awful close to the top. Uh, let's see. <laughs> We're gonna res. Rune is like super tough because he is always uh, in defense mode. He has no weapon. Because his, uh, his low HP kind of prohibits that. So, uh, Rika, we're going to go ahead and gi you. Okay. No, no, no. Stay there. Correct. And we must go up. Seems to be getting a little bluer and redder and... Oh, you're already together. Great. This, these are the two halves that form... Voltron, as I like to call it, and uh, they're horrible. Okay, they're they're horrible at staying alive. Yeah. There you go. Well, there you go. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. And I get to go up again. This time, a bit more bluer and purpler. Oh. Okay. What we're gonna do here? We're gonna do save the game. What kind of TV shows do you like, Pac? Ah, that's a good question. I don't watch a whole lot of TV. Give me just one moment, and I'll answer that with sincerity. I, I've, uh, I do like watching Doctor Who. I do love science fiction as a whole. Uh, the last show that I actually went out of my way to watch as a series, as a drama series or whatever like that, was Star Trek The Next Generation. So that it goes back a bit. Um... But I do look forward to watching Doctor Who. In fact, the last two specials with David Tennant and uh, Catherine Tate have been absolutely brilliant. Other than that, I like police dramas, believe it or not. I've been watching all the way back since uh, when Dragnet was the thing. Uh, reruns, of course, because I wasn't quite around when it went off the air in 1970. But uh, I did watch a lot of Adam-12 and Emergency and stuff like that. Um, I love game shows. So, don't judge. If you ask me a question about a game show, I'll probably know the answer. But, I used to be a big television watcher when I was little, but not so much anymore. Okay. Here we go. We have a, a little air plant that seems to be uh, developing a lot of static electricity. Is this a shape of the profound darkness that's taken? I used to have those in my pine trees, I have to admit, they were awfully cute. Never thought I'd seen one like this be before, though. Ah, that what is happening! It's an emanation of the profound darkness, anger, hatred. All of that lives, and a great need to destroy. We've got to defeat this thing. The being must not be allowed to come to Algo. The portal's not yet completely open. We've got to take advantage of this opportunity, Chaz. Right, let's go, everybody! Let's go, Voltron! Oh, Roger. Leave it up to me. Oh, you guys now have to be great. Now we determine the Algo's future. Our future. Here we go, guys. Hmm. I liked you better in your old form, I have to admit. Not a big fan of the music. Let's do it. Alright, so this is Chaz. Lefty says, we were at Chicago TARDIS... Over Thanksgiving Day. Oh, good. This weekend. Got to go to the 60th anniversary special with the director of the episode. Nice. 
Oh wow. I hate to say this, the last time I went to a convention of that of any scope was the 50th anniversary of Doctor Who. And we went up to two, we ultimately went to two of them. We went to uh, Hurricane Who up in Orlando. And I say up, that's because I'm in South Florida. And that was a lot of fun. That was not like a mega thing or anything like that. That was a much smaller one. But um, there is a picture somewhere on the interwebs of one Colin Baker, who of course would be the sixth doctor, holding up my Geek Squad badge. Um, which was nice. He, he offered to do that. And I got to meet uh, Fraser Hines and uh, David Gareth Lloyd. A lot of fun. And then on the Megacon, uh, we met John Barrowman and Eve Miles and uh, literally ran into Stan Lee. I mean, literally ran into Stan, Stan Lee. But uh, that's, I tell you, I do like conventions, but I don't like crowds. And London last night were just a tad crowded at the Megacon up in, uh, up in Orlando. Good for you. 60th anniversary. That must have been lots of fun. Lots and lots of fun. One day, I'll get the... I just don't get the time. I really don't get the time. Especially with uh, with all that's gone on uh, this year, personally, with London Lass's um, ailment, for lack of a better term. So, we'll get there. Chicago TARDIS. I'm supposed to be battling this guy. I have, what, 27 minutes of normal stream time. We're going to beat this thing. I don't care how long it takes. So, let's go ahead and go. Go! Uh, let's do a cross cut. I'm gonna do a duble slash. Uh, let's see. He has his bag of tricks as far as magic's concerned. And. This could backfire. We're gonna go and go ahead and use the Negra. What do you have? Medic power, okay. Stasis, okay, and recover. Okay, I know what that does. Okay, so therefore you're going to shoot. Double slash, nice. Two hundred twenty-seven cross cut. Four hundred thirty-eight. Two forty-four. Two hundred nine. Ray breath. Ouch. He's going. He's my healer, so he's going to he start healing himself now. It's an outstanding convention. My wife and I try to go every year. It sounds like it. It's funny, the conventions down here, some of them are annual, some of them are more sporadic. Uh, like the Hurricane Who was, was an annual thing. I haven't seen it listed in a while. Uh, it was much more intimate than the uh, Megacon. Megacon was literally armpit to armpit. Excuse me, I just bashed into my microphone. Good job. Pro streamer. Um, yeah. But uh, when, back in the day when I used to do uh, conventions regularly, it was a bit of a different format where um, your ticket got everything, inc including the autograph. The autograph was free with the uh, with the admission. And you know, I went to, you know, with Maria Sirtis, James Dillon, Angel Barrett, and all them uh, back in those days. And it was a much smaller. Mega, the Megacon concept hadn't really become a thing yet. This was back in the late 80s and 90s and 2000s. But uh, like I said, I prefer the smaller kind. Uh, like the Hurricane Who, uh, rather, we went to a Naruto trek uh, a long time ago and we got to meet Walter Koenig and uh, Morgan Shepard. It was rather intimate. Uh, it wasn't a whole lot of people. Makes sense the autograph isn't free anymore given what happened to William Chapman. Yeah, well, yeah, because they, they people sell that kind of crap on eBay. And, Turn a profit. And that's unfortunate. So now everybody gets to pay. Okay, that round could have gone a little bit better. So the command is we're going to continue. Hopefully we continue to go first. And then he kind of follows us in. So let's go ahead and continue with the commands. He's going to do that. She's going to do this. He is going to heal himself. There's a repair kit. With a trimate. My wife and I got picture taken with Carol Ann Ford this year. Oh, Susan, yes. 
he, uh, she and, uh, what's his face, he plays Ian, are like the only two left, I think. Of course, we lost Hartner a long, long time ago. That's cool. That is very cool. I was very pleased to meet uh, Fraser Hines. He's, uh, my favorite doctor is the second doctor. Again, don't judge. It's, just, it's a long story. Um, I had been watching... I, it's funny, I never got into Doctor Who until I met my wife. And she's the one who really got me into it. Uh, my best friend, for years and years and years, could not get me to watch Doctor Who. He, he literally would put it on TV, and I'd wind up doing something else. <laughs> and it, it, the local PBS stations back in those days ran the classic Doctor Who. And of course, it was it was a Tom Baker episode. And I, you know, I didn't get into it. I was a Star Trek guy. I've been a Trekkie since, God, as far as I can remember. I just, uh, I, he, I mean, he loved Blake Seven. I didn't want to watch Blake Seven. Seven. We both loved the Wild Wild West, the original steampunk, if you will. It's just some things I couldn't get into. But thanks to, he's your favorite too. Excellent. Yes. yes he's the first re uh, He's the first reincarnation. First. Everything actually. He was the first run. Sonic screwdriver, Jelly Babies, you name it. And um, my wife got me this a long time ago when the Tomb of the Cybermen hit DVD. That was so good. Alrighty. Where was I? Oh yeah, he's he's gonna shooty shoot. She's gonna shooty shoot. Big cross cut. Double slash. Please ruin. For God's sakes. Thank you. All right. No, not ouch. Okay, so back to this. And let's go ahead and continue. We're gonna do a cross cut. We're gonna do whatever the hell she had, that's right. Now he's gonna give another try made out, but this time to Chazzy. He's great at storytelling, fourth and tenth fourth and tenth doctors. That's London Lass's favorite, that is true. Uh, I have to admit, I have been the last two episodes of Doctor Who for the 60th anniversary. Um, I've been absolutely excited, though. Ouch. Um, Donna Noble is my favorite current companion. Of course, Sarah Jane Smith goes without saying. But I also love Jamie McCrimmon, so. I think amazing, yes. He's great at storytelling, yes. Fraser Hines, yes, okay. Uh, he, he was such a he was such an amazing person to meet. Uh, loved uh, loved talking to him, and like I said, with a with a smaller uh, convention, he actually had time to do that. We actually had a, a nice conversation with Colin Baker, um, Morgan Shepard, and one of the other ones. And you know, he had he had a Q and A session. There was only like six people in there. Very intimate. Absolutely amazing. Gareth David Lloyd. A lot of fun. I love the smaller ones, but uh, you got to meet um, one of my favorite people uh, in, in television, Fraser Hines. We saw a panel of different conventions with David Tennant and Billy Piper. That must have been neat. Alan Baker is such a great human. Yes, he is. And I saw him on a British game show called Tipping Point. It's this Tipping, Tipping Point Lucky Stars. And uh, I forget who the other two people were, but he just mopped them up. Very smart man. Very personal. I love him. Not my favorite doctor. He had not the greatest of stories. Until Big Finish came along. Then he started getting some really good stories. Oh, yeah. Okay, round three-ish. Yanto from Torchwood. That's right. That was fun. Hearing some of the stories and his wife telling... Uh, <laughs> his wife telling uh, my wife that um, he uh, would go out to the memorial over there in part of where Yanto Jones's uh, memorial was in front of the Torchwood building, and then he'd actually go to see if people would react to it. And I said, well, are you kidding me? That's awesome. You gotta go. Time for my wife and I to watch our Monday shows. Okie doke. Lefty Games videos. Check them out on Facebook. And uh, whenever you stream, have a good night. You too, sir. Hope to see you on YouTube and or Twitch sometime in the very, very near future. Alrighty. This is round three-ish. This is not going well. Well, it's going okay. He just has a lot of HP. I know that. 
Actually, no. We, we, we probably can survive this. Just thinking. That's, for me, that's dangerous. Okay. Okay. So we're... Okay. 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 Something happened. Something happened. Oh, you're you're even you're even worse. Okay. Well, he he metamorphosed into something far uglier. This is like Dark Force number six. Facebook. What about Facebook? Spike. Tata for, oh, Tata for now. Okay. Drill, drill, drill. I'm trying. Okay. I worry about Rune. Because he is the weakest. So I'm going to do, do defensive on him. Lefty on Facebook? I don't know if Lefty... Uh, he may already be gone. I don't know if he's on Facebook. I will try and find out. But he is on YouTube. He does some amazing stuff with Beat Sabers and his um, Stickman art. Crosscut. Double slash. Defense. He said, catch him on Facebook. I didn't, I didn't mean Facebook. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. One of those, it's one of those me moments there, uh, Lumless. Okay. Okay, well, one after Demi. Okay, Demi's gonna do a recover. Okay. Continuing on with the crosscut, continuing on with the double slash. Now that's cleared up, top top for now. <laughs> Alright, London Lass. London Lass, my wonderful, wonderful, very happy that she's here, wife. So let's, let's hear for London Lass. Alright, so he's going to go ahead and defend. He's going to go and shoot, and he's going to... She's going to do... a recovery. And there you go. Okay, so she's back up cool thing. Ouch. Oh, jeez, we lost room. Wow. Okay, not good. Not good at all. And one down. Actually, no. Let's go back one. She's going to Gisar. No, she's going to Nasar. Okay. She's going to shoot. And you're going to shoot. Just lost Demi. Not good. And he's gonna have to do a recover too, won't he? Unfortunately that really truly brings down wow, yep. Okay, good thing we made the move that we did. Continuing on. Yep, we're gonna have to do that. We can do a few more of those. Okay, no, oh, not good. Oh, Jesus. Okay, two on the recover, one on the, one on the attack. So let's go ahead and do that. He's the attacker. Got 12 of those left. She is the restorer. And he's going to recover two. Okay, good. And two. Come on, Chaz. There you go. Okay, well. Uh, what's next? 
Oh my. Oh my. Okay. Okay, I have a small amount of strategy here. Let's go ahead and do this. That was his turn. That gives us a free turn here, per se. Uh, back to Slashy Slash. She's going to go Slashy Slash. And he... I forget which one does what. Uh, we're going to get to the last one that we had. Doesn't appear to be the right one. Ouch. Oh. Ouches. Okay. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and do this. actually not bad. It's not a bad move. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Continue. I believe this is the final form. Yep. Take a chance on that one. Not bad. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, this turned out. This, this might be the last round, so let's go ahead and go with all we got. Any SARS can be one SAR. That may not be enough. Okay. That may not be enough. Alright, this will be the last round. And if that's the case, I have an idea. Yep, that's it. We're done. Okay, so, having said that... Yep, we're defeated. And just like that, it just throws us out. Okay, so, going back. I'm gonna load. That's too bad too. That was a long. That was a big battle. I did not win. I had lost. Let's give us another run here. Another run for our money. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this. Okay, so let's go ahead. Do what we normally do. Like the explode. Now that we uh, have an idea of what not to do, I want to see what these other things do first.
medic power. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, that did nothing. That did nothing. That did a lot. 324. Okay. That will protect us. Okay. Then that was a lot of waste. <laughs> but the explode did nothing. What about Ray Blade? Let's try that. And disrupt. Try that. That actually did something. That actually did something. Demi got hurt. All right. Continuing on, Rayblade. Continue on, Destructor. Continuing on. And try that. First drop. Thank you. Okay. Got yeah, her a bit. Continuing. He only has those four. So continuing this one. And continue that. And continue that. And so you can continue this. Form, here comes the second one. Ooh. Okay. That was a free round. Continuing on. Come on. Continue on. And then we're going to actually give Dupus over here a trimate. Jesus Christ, okay. Not good. Uh, command. Yep, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Do that. And he's gonna go into his pocket of good stuff here, and he's gonna get a Stardew out. He's gonna recover. Wrong button. 
There you go. He's gonna recover. And so is she. Wrong one. Oh! Went out of turn. Great. Okay. Not good. We may have to leave this as a cliffhanger. Let's see. back, but not all the way there, so that's good. We actually get a turn now. So let's go ahead and do that. She still has her original number that she left off with. He's going to trimate. Yeah. And then he's going to first rock, and what she's going to do is go back to medical power. And everyone stay in their proper turn, please. Okay. Right in, right on time. Demi now needs some help. Continuing on. Last ray, ray blade before we go to the other thing. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. This has turned out to be quite the uh, challenge right now. Let's get him a Stardew. Oh, right on my one, Stoop. All right. He's going to recover. Unfortunately, so is she. Alright, that takes care of her. Stay in your turn. Stay in your lanes! Okay, we all get Stardew. And... That's that, okay. That's his turn, so we get a free turn out of this. And we still have a lot of our crap left. All five of us are still here. It's 9 o'clock, we're going to continue going, folks. Here we go. Man. He's out of Ray Blades. Air Slash will do. Four Disruptors. Fine by me. Okay, so. Flaley will be. Not bad. Good. Okay. That could have actually been worse. Here we go. And you know what? Screw this. Crosscut. Double slash. Go ahead and do a recover. Yes. Thanks. Everyone go before the boss, please. Okay. Mm. okay. That could have gone far, far worse. Excellent. He's not he's a good hitter, but not a heavy hitter. Excellent.
No, he doesn't need to do that. He can go into the offensive this time. He needs to recover. And let's see. What does she have? I'm thinking. Hmm. Need all the offensive power I can get for these next few rounds. Nice set of attack there. Canceling. Neutralized. Oh shit. Okay. Interesting. Man. Crosscut it is. Double slash it is. Lately it is. First rock, it is. Yep. Hmm, one out of turn. This is last first rock, be a good one. Okay. He's gonna use a she's gonna use a Nasar. Out of that. So right now, back to the old this. She no, he needs to recover. So does she. Okay. Mm -mm. Fortunately, we're at the last part of this now, instead of early on. He's going to have to recover again. So we'll shape. Now it's pretty much you can tough it out. That didn't do much to us. Excellent. Well, we didn't have any type of stasis change on us, so... Uh, everyone's on the offensive. Offensive. She's gonna go use a, another Nasar. Okay. Die already. Okay. Not bad. Okay, not bad at all. Excellent. Not bad. Come on, die already. Oh, you put me asleep, did you?
Yeah, it's woke up. About time. Here we go. We can do this. Let's go. Die already. <laughs> okay. That could have gone worse. Rick is in trouble. Wow, okay. Well, this turn suddenly worse. Do you have another star? Yeah, I Hmm, okay. I could have gone worse. Continue on. Work, but okay. Oh, because he has the moon, that moon was already in better. Ah, not good. Let's do this. Yes! About damn time. Not bad. Not bad at all. Looks like we have a new Monday game. Ah, what's going on? Thank you very much. Force holding, this dimension is whole again. I cannot advance the game, so it's gone. I sense a time warp. It's getting bigger. Danger. Danger. Will Robinson. What are we supposed to do? What the? And his sword lights up. Oh, wow. The Elsidon. It's protecting us. It's beautiful. Thank you all. <sighs> right in the middle. Yep. That's me. Thank you for the sticker there. Thank you, Ben. Project preparations are complete. Well, I guess I'll head back to the Zealous. You could have left the damn building, you know. Well, I'll get a ride with Ren. It was quite a fun journey, Chaz. The likes of which I... Next card, please. 
haven't had a lo in a long time. You should come visit the Zealous once in a while. That's not possible. They don't have a spaceship. Yeah, not anymore. Look at that thing. And flapping their arms won't get them too far. Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha ha! I guess it really is goodbye, Chaz. But a pity you won't be able to enjoy my wit anymore. I'll go to Zelen to assist my master Ren. Goodbye, Chaz. Eventually, the time will come when both my master and I will. Become unnecessary to Algo. But until that time, I will work to complete my duties. After I take everybody to the Zealous, I will return to Zealand. I guess you will need a support from of the system a little. While longer. Ren? Where's Rika? She's already gone to L Landale. To the Landale, yes. Parting must be difficult for her. I see. Goodbye, Jazz. Stay well. <laughs> I believe we will meet again. Yes, Gabby. As they all say their farewells. Riga, we are leaving. Yes. And the ship takes off. They're gone. There's Chaz. Oh. Ren, I... Rika, the road you choose will probably be painful and... Next card, please. Difficult. You are our hope. You must be strong and live with pride. Yes, friend, thank you. Well, I've got to get back to Tano, Chaz. Thanks for everything. I feel that I've learned a lot from this trip. Thanks. I'm returning to the Academy. After all this, I've become disgusted with some of the... Some of the... Some of the... Some of the people here, there, but I just have to transform those feelings into inner, inner, inner strength. Goodbye, Chaz. I will always be proud that I fought beside you. Chaz, I guess it's goodbye. Rune. Even though the battle against the ultimate fiend is over, it was who is the bird again? I don't know. Big bird. My mission as Lutz must continue. You see, I must watch over all Algo. It's still lacking in training. I'm still lacking in training and experience. 
I must continue to improve myself and eventually pass. Get on to my on to the next Lutz. Just kind of like the doctor. Won't won't we meet again? Nah, probably not. You silly! Don't cry. You can live. <laughs> you can live now without anyone else's help. Yet yeah, he's still so insufferably honest. Oh, and the spaceship's back. Rika, Jazz, Oh <laughs> Wow. Jumps out of a plane without a parachute, and he catches her. There you go. Rika, Chaz, Rika, Chaz, Rika, Chaz. So long, Chaz. Take care. Rune. Rune, thank you, and goodbye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there goes the ship. The long battle is over. We were able to free ourselves from the terrible curse of yore. The souls of those who sacrificed their lives for Algo. Sleep in peace. From person to person. You did nothing, old man? <laughs> That's true. From age to age. As long as memories last. We will not forget the sacrifices that have been made. Aw, aren't they the cute couple? There you go. Beyond's old struggle between light and dark has ended, and now the curtain rises on a new age. Perfect. Took a couple of tries. Defeat the final form of ultimately Dark Force, the ultimate Dark Force of all that. Man. We played it for 19 days according to my titles. How about that? Not bad. Very happy about that. All right. So I've played it twice. I've beaten it twice. Not bad. Not bad. This is back when... Uh, pretty much this was the extent of the credit roll in video games. Like I said before, I would love to have seen this had it been made on Sega CD. Having been one of, what, seven people who bought a Sega CD, I think? But, uh, yeah. This turned out pretty good. You can find this on the Sega Genesis collection that's uh, available on Steam. I forget, for, uh, forget exactly what it's called. Uh, but it's there. This game is there with it. 
with a whole mess of other Sega Genesis titles. Your favorite ones. One thing about those type of compilations is that uh, they're only by the first party. In other words, you got Space Harrier 2, Afterburner 2, um, you know, Toe Jam and Earl, that type of thing. You wouldn't find like a crack shot starting uh, Donald Duck because that, w while that was a Genesis title, that was, uh, and it was made by Sega, it's a Walt Disney license, so they wouldn't have that necessarily. Of course, Sonic the Hedgehog, its sequels, Vector Man, which is a good one. So, oh yeah. Lots of good stuff. Team PS4. Presented by Sega. There go! My goodness. Let's chalk up another role-playing game. There it is. Perfect. Alright. I think we're going to leave it right here. I think so. Went a little over. Not too bad. Alright, you may have noticed I got some new art. And we got some new things coming along as well, so uh, there'll be some uh, further changes coming along. Still a basic, game, uh, basic show format. It's just that it'll look a little bit spiffier. And um, on uh, Twitter, the person who uh, helped me with the art here, who did the art for me, I should say, uh, is Billy Jackson. Outstanding. Very happy. So, having set that. Got the new title screen. My little, new little border. And uh, we're working with the emotes right now. I'm going to move some of the emotes to the follower emotes, and then I'm going to put up some uh, subscription emotes. So that's going to be changing as well. So, oh yeah, we're, we're, it's just getting the time to do all that because that's something I don't have a whole lot of. <laughs> Alrighty, if you like what you saw, please give me a follow. I greatly would appreciate it. I have a YouTube page of all the past streams that are not here anymore on Twitch. I also have an Instagram page of all the crap that I've collected over the last 47 years of gaming. There's a Twitter thing that uh, tells you when I'm streaming and <laughs> assuming I actually remember to post. As well as uh, Discord, which uh, we're kind of dusting off and putting back to pieces. There's also in the Discord itself, there's a link for London Last. London Last, of course, had a bit of an issue this year. She, uh, she wound up in the hospital for quite some time. And the medical bills are kind of getting away from her. So uh, there is a GoFundMe link. Check it out. If you'd like to, that's great. If not, just give her good thoughts. That's, that sometimes is all we need. Thank you very much. Uh, next Monday, we will start a brand new game. Probably one you haven't heard before. It's um, an action role-playing game. And I think uh, you might have a lot of fun watching this. Beyond Oasis is the name of the title. And then as soon as we finish Wild Arms, which we're pretty close to doing, uh, we will play Lunar, the Silver Star from Sega CD by Working Designs and Game Arts. All righty. Let's see. Is there anyone who's on there that I know who is raiding? Let's see. Raiding. I found somebody. The Ox cast. I know they're doing something humongous. With all my one viewer. Okay, cool. <laughs> Let's see. A gent. Is he still streaming? Don't think he is. Hang on, folks. I see a lot of agents, and I see a lot of agent-like looking numbers, and I have to assume uh, they might be the same type of agent that I once was a long time ago. I do not see that agent. Okay. Alright, morning. Oh, okay. I have one viewer. I'm going to go ahead and bother him. See if you might recognize me. You might recognize uh, the uh, my little face here. Go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and raid Agent 3540. He's playing Hunt Showdown. Like I said, I know this person personally. I just see if he knows who I am. <laughs> it's been a long time since we've seen each other. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time, Thursday night, 7 p.m. Eastern. For Wild Arms. In the meantime, have a good night. Take care. Bye.
with the raid. You know, it'd be probably a good idea if I actually hit the raid button. There you go. Now, like I've done this before. One whole viewer. Wonder who that is. Here we go. See y'all later. Night. <laughs>